Once your tubes have finished spinning, you can remove them from the centrifuge and you should notice a pellet that's on the same side of the hinge. And that pellet is actually the DNA that's come out of solution. What you want to do now is carefully remove and pour off the isopropanol. So open the hinge and over your waste beaker, just carefully pour off that alcohol. If you have a drop or two remaining, you can use a napkin to just get that last drop. But it's important that you don't shake the tube so much. When you remove the, the ethanol or the isopropanol, uh, when we're doing these alcohol precipitation steps, that's when the pellet is most visible. So if you don't see it or if it's very clear uh, previously, uh, when you don't have those alcohols, it's easy to see. At this point, go ahead and take your tube and add 600 microliters of the ethanol. The ethanol just washes away any excess uh, impurities. Once you've done this to all of your tubes, you can shake them a bit and then spin them down at one minute for maximum speed. After you've added the ethanol to all of your tubes and you spun them down, the next step is to take your samples and again, carefully pour off any excess ethanol. And again, you can use a napkin to get rid of anything else that's remaining, just gently tapping it. You wanna make sure that the pellet that was there in the last step is still against the side of the tube. And let the tube sit open on a rack for about 10 to 20 minutes to let it air dry. If you have a hair dryer set on a low setting and not blowing directly into the tube but on the side, you can accelerate the drying process. After you've air dried your pellets and you don't see or smell any remaining ethanol, you're ready to add the DNA rehydration solution. You need to add 100 microliters. So I'm gonna use a fresh tip to add 100 microliters of that solution to each one of my tubes. Cap a tube and you can use your finger to vortex a little bit and shake it up. And then place that on a heat black or, or water bath for 65 degrees for about 45 to 60 minutes. If you're going to use the DNA immediately, you can keep it on ice until you go to the PCR step. If you're not going to use the DNA immediately, then you can put it at minus 20 until you're ready to use.